Welcome to a bi-monthly Yi Real Estate Network Zoom Club meeting. So welcome a few of you out there and I really appreciate this is a very informal Zoom. I really don't have any organized format. I really don't have any agenda. Although I will do a little bit of introduction, then ask questions, brainstorm, share ideas. And if you want to share each other's contact information, you feel free to drop in a chat box. So after the meeting, you guys can talk with each other if you want. So that's the whole purpose of a part of being a network. Your network is your net worth, W-O-R-T-H, net worth. I see the value of a network because we do things together and we have a team of financial professionals that can help you to grow your wealth long-term, not just short-term. And as you go through your journey of real estate investing long-term, if you run into any kind of problems, the property you bought from each of our teams in those marketplaces, they themselves help you. Of course, they have their own team on the ground. They're looking out for your best interests and rely on the local property managers and realtors that sell you those properties. They have their team to help you. If they're unable to help you, come back to me, come back to my network, because if you See at the bottom of each video newsletters I produce every single day. If you scroll down at the bottom of our daily morning newsletter, you will see a dream team of financial advisors. We have two certified public accountants. One of them is Amanda Han and Matt McFarland. As a matter of fact, they're located in Southern California, Julie. Okay. That team are very well known in Southern California. The CPA, if you Google them. They're very popular among real estate investors. They only work with real estate investors all over the country to help them do tax planning. They're very legitimate. They've been doing it for a long time, 20 something years. Husband and wife team of Amanda Han, CPA, and Matt McFarland. I found them through some credible sources. Okay. And I decided to put their contact information into my newsletter because I've done my due diligence and research with them. And also, I have my own accountant. Enroll agent here in Northern California. He's also on my newsletter at the bottom of my newsletter. My IRA custodian also is listed at the bottom of each of my newsletter and Entrust, in which you work with, Julie. I work with Entrust, yes. And also my now recourse lender or underneath there, my 1031 exchange guy. Of course, my loan agents, my amazing loan agent, Richard Advani, who have done many webinars with me over the years. Amazing investment loan agent, Richard Avani, does loans in all 50 states. Just to name a few of my dream team of financial advisors, and truly they are dream team. So being part of my network, there's so much value add because all the markets that we have, Buffalo and Alabama, Tennessee, our Florida team is, I have two teams in Florida, one in Southwest Florida, Kim Coral. The other team that I work with in Florida, they cover seven locations, which is truly amazing. And, and of course, Central Texas, Central Texas, Austin and San Antonio, like Ken Venner who has been helping my investors for many decades. My new team, another new market, which is in South Texas. Julie, you may have seen it, South Texas, in McAllen, Texas Metro, which is right in the border of South Texas and Mexico border. I have a new amazing team, Janet Clement. She's amazing and she's, she has some great products. In case you have not seen it, Julie, I'm not sure. Okay, now I haven't looked at those. Yeah, they have some new construction fourplex in a 535,000. 535K new construction fourplex renting for 4,300 on all four doors. Oh, wow. With a cap rate of 8.5%, amazing cash flow, fast growing market, emerging market, path of growth at the whole nine yards. We have several investors already are working hard to try to do something in that market. We have a, a great team. We have enough diversification of markets to allow each of us or any of our investors to to over time to create a risk portfolio, diversify the real estate holdings in the various markets. But the Midwest is kind of what I call it the uh, the stable market. Buffalo, New York, in, in other uh, Midwest markets, a very low price, older homes, but is a cash flow play mainly. Although you expect a little bit of appreciation, sometimes more as you, in UK as in your case, Julie. The hybrid market we have are really. The South and Southeast, like I said, Florida, Texas, and Alabama, these are the hybrid market. You get the combination of cash flow and decent appreciation potential down the road. They are more, more expensive. They are newer homes, new builds. So a lot of people like those. The market, yeah, the market, Julie, we do not do, just be aware that we do not do the, the cyclical market or any markets that are west of the Mississippi. Oh, okay. And the, and the Northeast, the way north and northeast, way up there. Those two geographical regions of the U.S., we do not promote cash flow, turnkey investment markets. And the reasons are very obvious. 
right? Julie, the reason why I do not promote those markets. They're too high? Yeah. Too yeah. expensive. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. You cannot cash flow in those markets. That makes sense. Years ago, right after the 2008 housing crash, starting right 2010, 2011, those were the best time to buy at that time. My network was promoting Las Vegas and Phoenix and Boise. But 13 years ago, the medium price homes of in those markets were like 120,000. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now those same houses are like 500,000, right? Amazing. And, and the rent are 2,500. So if you're real estate investors, would you go to a market where the median price of a single family home is 500,000 and the rent you're collecting is 2,500? Yeah, no. What seems off to those numbers? What, Julie? It's not going to cash flow and it'll be years. <laughs> Before you pay it off, it's just not, it wouldn't be worth it the long run, but not the short run. If you do a 25% down payment, obviously you could have a monthly negative cash flow, like a right. thousand dollars or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. You can cash flow in those markets. You know how you can cash flow in those markets? By cash. Yeah. 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 You put a 100% down payment, right? 100%. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. If you can afford to do that, just to get that kind of cash flow. Yeah. Julie, yeah. I'm telling you one thing. To this day, I don't know who they are, but there are real estate investors out there still buying rental properties in west of the Mississippi. They're still buying California. They're still buying in the Pacific Northwest. They're still buying Boise. They're still buying Phoenix. They're still buying in Nevada. But they have to put 70% down payment to, to cash flow. My hope is they do that. The thing is, unless you just need to take a loss, maybe there are people that are just so wealthy, they need to have tax write-offs. <laughs> so they will take a loss. But I'm not in that tax right. bracket, obviously. <laughs> know the yeah. financial profile of those individuals? Right. They are buying rental properties in those markets west of the Mississippi, where the medium home price is four hundred, five hundred, six hundred thousand. 600000 Those are very wealthy investors. Those investors are making $500,000 salary per year. Yeah. And they have a, like half a million dollars cash or right. $1 million of cash to mm -hmm. buy those homes in the Western region with all cash, or 50 to 80% down payment. Wow. Yeah. That's so a lot. Those are not my kind of clientele, right, Julie? Exactly. My kind of clientele are hardworking, average, Joe, middle class, or maybe upper middle class individuals who makes $100,000, $150,000 a year per individual, right. who maybe have $50,000 to invest or $100,000 of cash to invest, maybe have a couple of hundred thousand dollars IRA they can do. Mm -hmm. Those are my typical network investors on my database. Right. Middle America, the hardworking individuals that if they continue to carry on financially with the W-2 and all that, they have to diversify. Well, they have to. They should diversify into real estate investing because that kind of salary not going to take them very far, right? Absolutely. I agree. Yeah, definitely. That's why I promote the Midwest. Buffalo is the only Midwest mm -hmm. market I'm willing to promote because I feel very comfortable. You bought six rental properties through mm -hmm. my Buffalo Niagara team, which is great. Mm -hmm. The yeah. rest of my markets are in the South and Southeast on the areas, the market I just show you. Mm -hmm. So the benchmark is 25% down payment. This is the benchmark numbers, 25% mm -hmm. down payment. With a rent to value ratio anywhere from 0.07% mm -hmm. to 1% rule. The 1% rule is pretty much almost disappear in most markets. The 1% rule is like one, 1% rule is rent to value ratio. That's a right. technical term. So mm -hmm. if you buy a $100,000 property, if you buy a $100,000 property or $60,000 property in the Midwest, such as Buffalo and Niagara Falls, you should expect 1%. 1% multiplied by 100,000. The gross monthly rent is $1,000. $1,000, correct. Huh? So correct. that's a benchmark. 25% mm -hmm. down payment, you will get a very good cash flow at mm -hmm. about 7% capitalization rate. Mm -hmm. Now, when you buy new construction in the South and Southeast, new construction homes, higher price homes in a better market, like in Texas and Florida, you cannot get the 1% anymore. Yes. Right? Because yeah. of skyrocketing housing prices in the past few years mm -hmm. and the uh, income have not caught up to the uh, rising home prices. Therefore, what, Alabama, te Tennessee area. What about that? The, does the 1% net work down there? Or? Uh, still not working. Still does not work. Okay. But, but Alabama is a unique market. Alabama, Tennessee, <laughs> you know, Spartan Invest is a unique market. Right. They are not the, low, they are not the lowest price market in, in mm -hmm. a country, such as in Buffalo, Niagara Falls. They're not, they are not the highest either, like in Texas or, or Florida. Mm -hmm. They are right in the middle. I call yes. it a hybrid market because the resale home 
that my Alabama Tennessee team is presenting, the Risa Holmes like one hundred ten to two hundred thousand, right, right in the middle, C plus B minus uh, location, and yeah, and so they're not getting one percent; they're getting like point zero seven, point zero eight percent. It's an up and coming market. Mm-hmm. People need to watch out for that. You can do the non recourse loan down there with your IRA. Yes. Okay. In Alabama, in Alabama market, as long as the homes are built within the past 40 years, not older than 40 years. Not, the, not like the New York ones, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For, for legal reasons, the non recourse lender will not go there. It will not go to yeah. New, York, New yeah. York State. New York State have this unique law which will prevent any non recourse lenders underwrite those. I can understand that. The risk is really high. See By that. the way, because of the mortgage rate being very high, the mortgage market, the non recourse loan, the rates are much higher, like 8.5%. 8, Normally, like three, four, five years ago, when everything was normal market, you right. can get a 40% down IRA and 60% non recourse loan at, at like 6.5 rate. Now, right. the pendulum has switched. Okay. You, you need to put down 70% self directed IRA and 30% non recourse loan. Got it. At 8.5% oh. mortgage rate on non recourse loan rate. Interesting. But people still yeah. should do the leverage portion of it. Yeah, right? I can say what you're saying. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because you still cash flow even mm-hmm. with the 30, 30% LTV. Because we're definitely looking down that area mm-hmm. too. I yeah. think we want our next one to be like Alabama, Tennessee. Yeah, we'll shoot for the goal and I'll help you crunch the numbers, see how much savings you have when you step closer. We we'll would analyze it together. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now match the property in relative to the IRA and the non-recourse loan that you could right. obtain accordingly. Right. right. Okay. 